And we go green in Marrakesh. Good start from Bird. Also good start from Sebastian Buemi. You have to spot the gap, but get it stopped in time. In Mexico, perfectly demonstrated by Nissan's Oliver Rowland. All five lights are on. And we're green in Mexico City. It's a good start from Degrassi. So Verline comes over to cover the inside. Massa's got a good start as well as they spread out into turn one. And there goes Roland up the inside into second place. What a move from the British driver. Fourth to second in the first corner. The man to watch is the second car on the left-hand side in the silver, Oliver Rowland. Out of he's miles back, he, he just, just sends it. He breaks so much later than everybody else. Look, he just he's breaking too early, get out of the way, moving through. <laughs> and controls the lockup very well. Absolutely magic. Even champions can get it wrong. In Marrakesh, jean eric Van saw a gap that was too tempting. It's Sam Bird on pole position on the left-hand side for the Envision Virgin team. Reigning champion jean eric Van is alongside him on the front row. All five lights are on. And we go green in Marrakesh. Good start from Bird. Also good start from Sebastian Buemi. He might be able to challenge Vern on the run down into the first corner. Vern goes for it out of nowhere. And Vern spins. The reigning champion is facing backwards at turn one. The two HWAs collide with each other as well. Vern just too late on the brakes. He had nowhere to go. I'm very sorry. I had no brake. I liked up everything. I don't know what happened. Oh. I, don't know he, I really don't know what he's thinking. Unless there was an issue with the brakes because you didn't even see a lock up or anything. Oh, there you go. In. Three contact. Yeah, my car is broken. That's Verlines, and now out of the race in his debut. That's a real shame for Verline. Sometimes you get it wrong at the lights, but you can take a brave pill and send it to the outside. Beautifully executed by Sam Bird in London. This was on board with Sam Bird. A lot of wheel spin for him. He's going to lose a place surely on the left-hand side there. Yes, Nick Heidfeld going past Sam Bird, but he manages to hold on. Well, look at this, around the outside of turns one, and then I think he goes around the outside of Daniel Apt at turn three as well. Fantastic recovery from Sam Bird. In season two, Sebastian Buemi's run to the championship title was aided by perfect starts like this one in Berlin. And we go green in Berlin, and it's a very good start from Buemi. Is he going to wrestle the lead away on the run down towards the first corner? Yes, Buemi leads. He's managed to get past Vern, and he moves over, and they almost touch as they come into the first corner. Now they're all going to be so gentle into that first turn to try and make it through a bit of contact in the middle of the pack. But once again, Vern doesn't get the start from pole, and Buemi is away in the lead of the race. Here's a look at the start. Watch John Eric Vern on pole position. Just not a good getaway. In fact, I think it was a very good getaway from Buemi. There was nothing really wrong with Vern's start. He didn't lose that much time to the other cars around him. Now, watch Robin Freitz in the blue Andretti car going to the outside and going around the outside of his teammate Simona de Silvestro. The crowd in Argentina were entertained by Nick Heidfeld's poetic slide around the outside to take second place. And we go green in Buenos Aires. It's a lot of wheel spin for Buemi, but he manages to keep it all together. Good start as well from Heidfeld on the run down towards the first corner. He might get past Al Kashwari. It's a hairpin left-hander that they're coming up to. Heidfeld looks to the outside line, gets a little bit of a tap, but gets up into second place. Heidfeld was the man to watch, smooth as you like, and then around the outside at turn one was really impressive, Dario. It just watch Nick. He's already lining the pass up, and he almost runs into the back of Wemi here because he's had to carry so much speed, and the car's just sliding. He's in one long slide <laughs> all the way through there on the inside for turn two. And that was impressive. You don't realize how dirty it is. But he still managed to take second place away. In Paris, local hero jean eric Vern had decided he was going forward, no matter what his teammate was thinking. It's a good start from Terrible Degrassi. Terrible start from Sam Bird. A fantastic start as well from Nico Prost. He dives up the inside and, and all Vern just about getting it stopped. Vern is up into second place. Bird drops from first down to third. Now watch Sam Bird off the start. Is it just wheel spin? A bit of wheel spin, but just a bad getaway. A little bit slow. And uh, yeah, but it's certainly wheel spin. Uphill start though, very unusual. This was the view on board with jean eric Verne. He we'll sees the opportunity. From him. Nowhere to go. Everybody's a little circumspect. Locked the rears, locked the fronts. <laughs> Didn't hit his teammate, though. No, just about got away with that one. And that is, oh, goodness me, that is bold stuff around the outside of two. All right, check that. Ambition and drama were always hallmarks of Felix Rosenquist. In Berlin, though, it was maybe a bit too much. 
Lucas de Grassi is looking to the inside of D'Ambrosio. Turvey comes across to cover off Jean-Eric Verne. And there goes D'Ambrosio sending it around the outside. Rosenquist comes in all locked up. And that's his race run pretty much. He's going to drop right to the back. Jerome D'Ambrosio with a brilliant move at turn one has gone up into third place. Decent start really from most of the field. But Felix Rosenquist went on full Felix Rosenquist attack mode. He loves oversteer. Doesn't love this much. He almost didn't break. That was absolute commitment from Rosenquist at the first corner, but it cost him. Look at him go. He ain't stopping that one. He's halfway to Heidelberg. One of Formula E's regular mega starters is Oliver Turvey. In Hong Kong season four, he started seventh, made a great move around the outside of the hairpin and was third by turn two. We go green in Hong Kong. It's a good start from Vern. He's going to hold the lead on the run down to Tamar Park. Everybody covers the inside line. There's a bold move there around the outside from Felix Rosenquist trying to get... No, it's Heidfeld, isn't it? Trying to get involved around the outside. He can't quite do it, and he's lost out. Oliver Turvey is up into third place. What a tremendous start from the Englishman in the Neo car. He started in seventh. He's in third place now. So how's Turvey done this? Keep an eye out on the, on the Neo car coming down into turn one. There he is, seventh in the queue. Does he just go around the outside of everyone at, at turn one? Keep an eye yeah. out on that sort of blue car around the outside of one, <laughs> two, three. That's and then Heidfeld's tried that trick. He runs out of road and Turvey pops up into, into third place. Beautiful. Absolutely. Done. Yeah. It's one of those days everything, the sea's open in front of you. <laughs> oh, fantastic. The city centre of Santiago saw South Americans Nelson Piquet Jr. and Jose Maria Lopez have flying starts. Piquet made it to second, but Lopez wasn't so lucky. And we go green in Santiago, and Vern immediately looking in his mirrors, cuts over to the inside and holds the lead, and here comes Andre Lotterer. He's got a better start than Sebastian Buemi, and he's up into second place. Look at that around the outside goes Nelson Piquet. And coming into the first corner, and he can't quite make it. The two DS Virgin cars go side by side. It's a magical start from Lopez. Look Lopez is almost up into fifth, and Piquet is in the second position, and Lopez is in the wall. And one of the Mahindras. Jose Maribu Lopez, I think, has hit the wall. One of the Mahindras has, lo has lost a front suspension as well further back in the pack so the man to watch here is nelson pk in fifth place third car on the right hand side because when he gets a slow start but then pk just goes for it well, in the every, jaguar everybody else breaks watch the, the <laughs> pk and doesn't. He doesn't he goes to the outside watch the, the, the third row on the left side nelson pk in turquoise jaguar everybody else starts to slow down and break and nelson just uses them goes oh, okay and you see him go 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 and nearly takes the lead yeah And finally, to New York, our number one start has to be Jean-Éric Verne's lightning reactions on his way to a first championship. Four five lights are on. We go green in New York City, and what a good start from Lotterer and the other Tachita of Verne. But Boemi cuts him off, and now the Tachitas go for the inside line. Oh, and Verne lunges in, makes a bit of contact, splashes through a puddle, and leaves what the New York City e free. And it is a frantic start, and what a start it was from John Eric Verne. Oh, goodness me. They were both right on the bubble. That is the kind of thing you need to see frame by frame. Wow. Was, was Boemi just slow to react? Wow. Well, maybe being fairly defensive going into turn one. He got it done though, Vern, didn't he? Oh, absolutely. Splash. That was all. You know, cadence breaking the whole thing, trying not to lock up the brakes, the carbon brakes in the car, freezing cold. You could see them grabbing.